This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Warning, always replace the shock absorbers in pairs. Never replace just one of them on one side of the vehicle. Block the front wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Loosen the rear wheel lug nuts. Raise the rear of the vehicle and support it securely on jack stands. Remove the rear wheels. Support the lower rear suspension arm with the floor jack placed under the coil spring seat. Warning, the jack must remain in this position until the shock absorber is reinstalled. Pry off the access trim cover in the trunk area. Then remove the shock absorber upper mounting nut. Remove the shock absorber lower mounting bolt, then remove the shock absorber. Install the shock absorber, feeding the top end stud into the body first, with the necessary bushings pre-installed on the absorber. Install the shock absorber lower mounting bolt and nut with the necessary washers in the right order. Tighten the bolt and nut securely, but don't tighten it all the way yet. Place the necessary spacers and bushings in the proper order onto the upper stud of the absorber. Install the upper mounting nut, then tighten the nut securely while preventing the stud from turning with another wrench. Make sure the nut is tightened one final time to 15 foot-pounds. Install the plastic trim cover. Raise the lower suspension arm with the jack to simulate normal ride height. Then tighten the shock absorber lower mounting bolt and nut to 91 foot-pounds. Remove the jack from the suspension arm. Install the wheels and lug nuts, then lower the vehicle. Tighten the wheel lug nuts to 83 foot-pounds.